Okay, so now I want to show you some of the new features that are in the development module. So these are the modules up here, library, develop, slideshow, print, and web. I'll say that there are not a lot of uh, brand new features that I, I can see or I'm using so far in the development module, but the ones that are there are pretty neat. So what I want to do is pick a fun picture to kind of edit. Um, I have some in here that I've already done. Uh, let's just let's pick this one here. This is a fun one. How could you not want to play with this one? This one's pretty good already, so I don't have to change a whole lot. Um, I would say that maybe it's just a little bright in certain areas. So just tone it down a little bit. Okay, and uh, let's see, uh, there's really nothing wrong with this model at all. So there's nothing to fix, <laughs> really. Sometimes I use uh, the spot remover for uh, skin blemishes, but uh, <clears throat> well done by this model, not, not a lot to change. Um, so one of the things in here that is very handy is this lens corrections feature. It uh, kind of matches the lens that you use and the camera you use and makes some adjustments based on lens profile. So I'm going to enable profile collect correction. It recognizes that I use my Canon EF 70 to 200 2.8 L IS lens. And it, uh, you probably didn't see it, but it did make some minor corrections. For other uh, lenses that are more wide angle, it uh, the corrections are more extreme. So if you needed to make anything more, it uh, you can adjust it here. So that's pretty handy. And manually, what you can do is play with the distortion if you need to. Again, this image is pretty good in the first place. Probably should depict a different one. But Again, wide angle lenses or some lens that has some kind of special feature to it that uh, you often need to correct can easily be done here. However, one of the features that I really like that I use a lot is this scale feature. I want to keep my image uh, the same proportion, the same size, and I don't want to crop. So I'm gonna I can scale it up if I want to put more of the model in the picture. So it was kind of cool to see the rocks down below, but I'm going to ramp it up and put her front and center in the image here. So that's pretty handy, not having to go into Photoshop to do that. So sometimes you have to uh, make it a little bit more sharp. So I'll bump it up the sharpness and the clarity a little bit, uh, maybe remove if there's any shadows here. Maybe losing a little bit in her hair. Okay. Good enough now. So the scale is really cool. Um, what else here? <clears throat> Camera calibration. They have a new method of 2010 versus 2003. It makes some minor tweaks to it. Uh, I might want to bump up the contrast just a little bit here. Okay, so that is that. And another thing is that you have the ability to add on grain. Now this image is not a great fit for it, but adding grain into the image. Let's say it's not as um, sharp or the image may be blurred and you want to add in. Sometimes grain helps with the uh, sharpness of it. Um, or if you want to do something more artistic, you can uh, do that here. Um, I, I like the ability to do that quickly here in Lightroom. That, again, not a great fit for this image, so we won't use it on here. Um, so it's, it is very handy to use these new features. And let me zoom back out. All right.